Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to do a journal page in our junk journal. You guys are showing me the greatest stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. But remember we did our, we made an art journal out of junk, a junk catalog. This happens to be a magazine from somewhere. I forget at the moment where, but all I did was just so this. Now you can do these on, of course, use a piece of printer paper, maybe you have watercolor or what have you, use it on an ATC card, whatever you have, you know. Um, this just happens to be a little bigger of an art journal page, but look, do whatever you want to do. So all I did so far was just so it because it would have taken a little uh, long to have just so it and let it dry. Uh, you know, and if you don't have gesso and you want to do something like this, rip up some printer paper uh, and put it on there to kind of cover it up or, you know, whatever you want to do. So right now I'm going to do some mixed media on here and I'm going to go dark. I think, I don't know. I'm going to use just a stamp, any stamp. This is a wood, um, grain stamp from, I'm going to say Lisa Pavelka. I'm not sure. I think it's for polymer clay. I, I don't know. <laughs> I uh, had it in my stash and thought, why not? Let's see and use it. Let's see. Maybe my ink pad, my ink pads are always dry. I'm just going to lay it down and give it a squish. Doesn't matter if it's, you know, the print comes full or not. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it. That's pretty cool. Now, if you don't have an ink pad and maybe you do have some stamps, use some ink or uh, paint. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter. Let's try orange and see. You could, I'm not having much hope for this either. Let's see. I'm just going to lay some color down. Let's see. Please don't look at my nails. They're a mess. All right. It's not my ink pads are obviously are not doing me proud today, but you do see I'm just stamping. I don't want anything to be so much because I'm going to be layering. Okay. So I think that's all we'll do. Like I said, I'm going to use this to clay and see if that's what, uh, what it is for. Okay. Now, I've done this before, and I shall show you. This is just, you get this in the scrapbooking uh, section of your art store, or uh, arts or craft store, and all it is is a big sheet, it's probably as big as this, um, of like squiggles that you can use to paint or spray through. So that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to spray, and I grabbed some sprays that I haven't used in a while, so I'm going to give them a shake. This is the Deco Art Media Mister in Primary Yellow, and these are permanent once they are dry. And if you don't have permanent ones, it really doesn't matter. Let's see. Oh, that still sprays good. So you see, we do that. I don't know what this does, but I'm going to lift it up. And what I'm going to do is just turn it here. I'm going to take a, you know, paper towel, napkin, rag, whatever whatever ever and just get a little bit of that print down here i'm not too worried you know and then do i want to do another one of these no no let's see let's see about this if we can get a spray in there and i'm going to use this is the heidi swap color shine in teal i love teal there goes that ball and if your sprays don't have a ball in it, buy uh, glass marbles, plastic marbles, uh, at the dollar store, and then just put them in. And then you can shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. I like to do this a little bit because then it helps get that glitter up from the bottom or mica. Okay. Okay. Gonna give that a second to sit and then pick it up. All right. 
going to just lay it there and do the same thing. And now we're starting our layers. So technically, this would be our second layer. Okay. Lift it up. Now you can see it just mushed, but that's okay. I just want the color. And I will just do a little mush there. Maybe I'll mush here. Okay. And if it bothers you, you can wipe these off. I'm not going to. <laughs> not going to and then I'm going to dry it now this is going to have a little sheen to it the blue I'll lift it up and see if you can see it on the camera Now, something I like to do, which you do not have to do, is I like to take a piece of paper. And then what I'll do, this is the face I drew the other day. I got a color yet. But I like to lay it down. And printer paper works great. Or a piece of scrap of paper that you might not care for. And you want to change it. And then just start lifting up some of that. So it dries. You can put it on your stencils as well. Um, and what it'll do is just pick up some of that wetness that's not drying. Okay. Let's see if you, yeah, you could see the, the blue up here. See how it shines? Doesn't shine that way, but it shines this way. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So then I want Let's add some texture without adding texture, if that makes sense. This is another one of the things I love to do. Come here. Sometimes you can find these on clearance at your local uh, arts and crafts store, and you can see these are gorgeous green and things. So maybe I'll do a word, or what you could do is lay these all over this and then spray a certain color. Um, so it kind of looks like it goes in like it's modeling paste, molding paste coming out. But I'll wait then for this and see what words I want to use. Okay, so you can see we kind of have that now. So what I want to do is grab some paint and I'm going to stick with these colors. I'm going to use some of my pink and this is uh, Camilla pink in Martha Stewart satin and I'm okay with that and I'm going to do a ploop here I'll also show you one other thing you can do you can kind of just put it where you don't really have any color but when you go to paint and do all that take a piece of paper and kind of put it on the edges this is a little small still so if it won't glue the other pages together you know what I'm saying Okay, so now let's take a paintbrush. Okay, gonna give it a dry. It has a little gesso left in it. It's all right. I'm not gonna worry about it. But see, then you don't have to be so um, careful if it gets, you know, runs. You might want your brush a little wetter because I want those layers to come through on the bottom and that is why you want it um, as dry as you can get it you know okay and I'll wet my brush one more time and just kind of run it over I don't like this So it's everywhere. Then I shall take paper towel. If it's too thick in certain areas, you can take <clears throat> your water bottle and give it a nice squirt. Because we all love a good squirt. There we go. Yeah. And you see when you use your paper towel or whatever you use. Um, it gives you a little bit of that texture. And if it's too much for you and you're like, nope, not enough of the background, but you can see that coming through. Um, just give it a wipe if you want. 
no big deal. That is as, I mean, that is, look how pretty, as easy as it is. Dry it really quick with your heat gun. And if you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, you can either go to your local Goodwill or thrift store and get it for a couple bucks if you're able. If not, just leave it sit. Acrylic dries so fast. Put on your favorite YouTube or watch a video. And I always like to put on a song or two. And you'll be good to go. Because nothing has to be completely dry. But look. Just look how pretty the page is. I can see it's still wet a little bit. But look how pretty. Just a pretty page. In our junk journal. Okay. I'm going to do it a little bit more here. I don't know why I do this. But I do. <laughs> I can tell right here it's not dry. It's buckling a little bit. No big deal. I'll just go like that. I think I'm good. Yeah. I'll just run my hands over. You can see it pulled a little bit there. Okay. I like that. It looks a little grungy without being too grungy because sometimes you just don't want grungy. I love grungy. I want it all the time. Okay. So now we have a few layers on here. Now, of course, like I said, you can put scrapbook paper, a picture. It doesn't matter. But this is as much as I'm going to do on this at the momento. Now, I'm going to draw. Maybe I'll use my this just to sketch it out. I'm going to draw. Sometimes I love just doing a whole face. You know what I mean? I haven't done a whole face in a while. Let's see. Let me think. Okay, let me do. Just gonna go up half. Now this is my Stabilo, which is a water um, soluble activated uh, product. You can use a watercolor pencil. There are many other things you can use. You can use a regular pencil. It's not gonna not gonna matter. We'll just kind of do like that and then let's do the mouth now if you don't want to draw the mouth if you, you know you're like oh i just don't know how to do it that well you can do it in so many different ways um you can just put you know a small mouth i think it's what i'm gonna do and you can see I'm not going to draw like all the things to do like oh is it even and all because i love doing my like odd girls you know and sometimes it's just a great way to be free. Be free and be me. You know? Give her some big lips. And give her just like that. It can be whatever shape you want. Um, but you can just put a little line there for a mouth. And if you want to do a nose, you can definitely just do a little, little boop like that. You know? Or you can do the boop and go down and down his nostrils and darken it a little bit as nostrils and then i'm sorry my dog's itching and then you have a really cute nose and then let's do the eyes over here i'm not doing it perfect you guys know i always do uphill i'm always like because eh, my uh ra but okay Let's do that. I'll make that the bottom of her eye. And then we'll make her a little longer. Like that. And then I'll do an eye. And an eye. And then like that. Like that. It's not in the middle. It's okay. Let's do. An eyebrow just like that okay so that's kind of where we're gonna start but remember this is water activated so I'm gonna take a oh my god my hair get out of my face I'm gonna take a little brush just a little teeny brush I'm gonna wet it with some water 
I'm going to dab it off, dab them for Angie. And then I'm going to go in and activate. Now I can go in with um, black paint if I want to go over it. But right now I want to see. And you can see how beautiful this, uh, like I said, you can use a watercolor pencil too if you want. see and then we'll do our pupils like that for now and then I'll wet it again give it a little rinse dab it off on my paper towel I'll go for the bigger part right now just like that not a big deal and then her little nose I'm gonna just dab it rinse it dab it Like that. So now I just sketched her out, but what am I going to do now that I have that water activated? Not a big deal because I'm going to put her uh, skin color in. Her skin color in. Her skin color in. Where is my skin color? Hmm. That I don't know. So, what color are you? Okay, so we're going to use antique white. And I'm going to give it a shake. But it doesn't matter. You can use a tan or whatever. I just want it a little off. Because I'm a little off. She's going to be a little off. I think we, most of us, are a little off. Okay. So I need another brush. Oh, my dog is itching today. Pain in the butt. All right. Get this rinsed off good. Push the water out. <laughs> Somebody wrote me the other day and said, that must have been yesterday, and said, don't leave your brushes in the water. You're going to ruin them. Jane says, <laughs> painting with Jane says, don't leave them in the water. I do. Sometimes I do. All right, so I'm just going to go and do the neck like this. And you can see I'm pulling some of that black in here. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think to each their own. If she doesn't or somebody else doesn't leave it in the water, then don't. I'm a mixed media artist and sometimes, uh, and I'm a chronic ill sufferer, <laughs> medications and everything. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. And that's just my life. And I'm okay with that. I'm very okay. But look how pretty this background is. But I appreciate you guys being concerned for my brushes and me. But I've been doing this so long. And it's probably, like I said, I couldn't show you a beautiful brush I have that I've taken care of. Because I use them for everything. For glue. Like, I don't separate. All right. The only thing I'm going to do right here is go over the eyebrow a little bit. You can see it's kind of going in. And I'm okay with that because I'm going to kind of bring that shadow down here on both sides of the news. Okay. I get a lot of emails. A lot of um, not nice emails, too. Not a lot, but some are giving me really, you know, their advice on what to do with my channel. But if I change, if I don't, if I do something that I don't like or isn't me, then I'm not going to have fun and I'm not going to want to do it, especially on days that I'm not um, feeling well. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes I, I just want to throw paint down. Sometimes it doesn't look that good. That's all right. I'm okay with that. I've been trying to put more videos up of like stuff that I do around here um, without recording, you know, some of my art when I'm just playing. You know, so I've been trying to do a little bit more of that. But it's not meant to do much of anything but, like, show you what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
that's really what my channel is, is to show you different ways to do things and to use things from home and that kind of thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block this out for a minute. I'm gonna go up like this. Yeah. Okay. Just take that through. We're gonna brush off in a second and get this size. It'll come together. Trust me. There we go. Now this side. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. You can see how I have the both the sides. Let me rinse this one more time. Wipe it. And I know the nose is going to be underneath here. And then this will be some highlights right here on the forehead. Yes, indeed. And this is why my brushes are a mess, because you can hear me scrubbing. Scrub, scrub, scrub. But I'm okay with it. I really am. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Black and do the eyes so you can see. I just want to get this a little bit more smooth. Don't need that as black. A little highlight there. Just a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to close this. I think I'm getting a cold from my nephew. <laughs> I, I've been having a sore throat yesterday and today, and his little cute butt is sick, so. I might be because I just love kissing them so much. All right, so I'm gonna take some black. I know, really too much information. Some licorice. And I do like painting from the lids when it's little things. Okay. And all I'm gonna do is zoom, zoom, zoom. All right, all I'm gonna do is just, I don't know where that came from. Go over top. And when this dries, it should seal the majority of that in. And we will see. And if not, then such is life, right? Okay. But it's a little tip because I know when I do these, some, sometimes people are like, I tried it and it just didn't work and it got to be a mess. And, you know, it's a different way to do things, but... Sometimes I do it that way. My brain does not uh, function normally. I have to read things phonetically sometimes. <laughs> and I have to, um, like, I just do things backwards. And sometimes it's painting. Sometimes, you know, I do the eyes first. Sometimes I do the nose first. Sometimes, you know, I do whatever. And that's just how I do it. I'm not, I don't, I'm not ashamed of it. It's just, you know, different sometimes than other people and it doesn't make it wrong the way other people do it it's just the way my brain does it people get upset that my desk's messy people get upset that i do this say that but it's just me and i you know i love doing what i do and i love doing these on the um youtube and you guys like them and you know new people find me and i get the most beautiful letters and so forth and so on so i do it and when it stops being fun, then I won't do it anymore. You know. All right, now she needs a nose. Does she really, though? Yeah, she does. So then I'm just going to go in and do what I did before. I'm going to do like that. I'll take a little bit more and kind of go bloop. Like that. And then, like, she has, like, little nostrils under there, like, little shadow. And then a 
just give her her nose. And you can see kind of where, let's do this, let's do her eyebrows. I want her to be like expressionless almost. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, that's how I feel today. I'm not feeling the greatest. So I kind of just want her to have straight. And we'll go in here. Like so. Okay. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is going to go over that face part one more time. One more time. Okay. Dry my brush a little bit. And where'd you go? Here you go. I'm, I like to shake it, like I said, and then I like to take it. I shake it and I take it because I'm a beastie boy. I shake it and I take it. Okay. Because paint is such a toy. Or such a joy. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to go in the middle here. I'm not going to touch. And you can see why sometimes putting that extra paper helps. But I'm going to leave that little bit of dark on both sides and just kind of highlight that in. And then the same with the face. Now remember, we're painting on Just Ode Magazine. So, and of course, you can glue your paint. I did get asked that. Uh, I'll have to answer that in another video again. But yes, you definitely can glue your pages in together so you get thicker pages. I I mean, I could do that down the road if you want or the next one, but it doesn't really do anything for me. But I have. I've done it before. Do that highlight above the lip. I've done it, definitely done it before. And uh, I've also glued paper in here, which will be another one that I will do. But you can do whatever you want. I've glued pages together. Just take your Mod Podge and glue a couple pages together so it's thicker. And you feel like you have more, you know, it doesn't wrinkle as easy. But I, look, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm going to add a little bit of water because it's kind of thick and I'm going to do my head in if it just, if I keep struggling with it. There we go. Okay. And you can do up, you know, above her eye if you want a little highlight above her eyebrow. Oh, you know what? I'm just going all over it. <laughs> I know. Give me a thumbs down. I know. I started doing it and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do one coat because it's not going to come out as uh, light, you know, where it is. But yeah, let's just do like that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. So, so should you be. Okay. So now what I'm going to do very quickly is knock my black paint over. I'm going to give it a quick one here. A quickie, as I like to call it. And then we're going to do some hair. And I think the hair I'm going to do... is... Oh, what color? See, I like black with those light colors. I know. And... I probably shouldn't, but I might. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So you can see I'm just drawing this real quick. And especially up here because I know I'm going to put bangs. Okay. So something I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to get my gesso. I'm going to take the lid. I'm going to shake it. Shake it. And then I'm going to take the lid off. So I have some in here. I'm going to take my small brush again. I'm going to clean it off. And cleaning, then I'm gonna dry it real good. Dry, 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 dry. We're drying it, and then I'm gonna put it in my gesso. And I'm gonna go around here. I'm digging that they're two different color eyes, so I want to, I really want to make them kind of pop in a way. And they have like the black around it. This is just my, you know, 
I just kind of dig it. <laughs> so the white kind of, you know, helps them. Maybe a little bit more on that outside. Yeah. Yep. And then I might do a little, like, a little highlight here and there. And then I'm going to do a little highlight. I like to just take it like this and give it a little highlight in the eye. You're like, girl, I know. We've been watching you for years, and you do the same stinking thing. I do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely like the eyes like that. Let me give it a quick draw. I can go back and do more highlights or whatever. Whenever I do it. Okay, so the hair. The hair. The hair. What color's gonna do the hair? Let's do, gee, I don't want to, if I do pink, it's going to be pink on pink. Maybe we'll do orange. Mm. Maybe we'll do ink. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I can map it out a little bit. All right. So, you know, I always like to do a part like that. And it's going to go like that let's figure out this will go down here oh maybe i don't want it down there wait maybe i want to do maybe i want to do it like this maybe i can do it let's see if i do this and then okay Do some buns, maybe? Maybe that's up too far? Oof, I don't know. But I'm going to do the same over here. We'll see. I might have to fatten them out. I mean, really, it's just a... And then you know what else I'm going to do? I'll paint that in there, too. Okay. Let's... Okay. Okay. Put the lid on, Cal. The lid. Okay. Having a little bit of issues, but that's okay. All right. When don't I have issues? All right. So my brush is damp. Now this is the kind of ink that will dry permanent. So you won't be able to move it, which is fine. I just kind of want to fill out my ponytail here a little bit. And then a little bit of the hair. So I can go back in. I'm not worried. It's like my base. You know what I mean? And I'll go over it with another coat. Come on, ponytails. Do me good. Yeah, okay, I don't want that there. Get off it there. Well, it's going to stay there anyway. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Put that in there. I'm going to take my small brush, dab that off, get in here, and kind of do my thing. Kind of push it around. Okay, uh, it needs a little work, but you see what I'm doing. Let me dry them. Okay. 
a little more. I see this has to be puffier, especially up here. So I'm just going to take it off here, off the page. Okay. Let's start with that one. I'm just going to dab this a little bit more. I'm going to have to put paint down. We'll see. I mean, it is just my art journal, so I don't have to do too much. You know, I mean, I don't have to make it. I think you'll get the point. But depends on how obsessive I get at the end, because I want to put in like, you know, some black to like, you know, for the part and that kind of thing. But who knows with me? Okay, I wanted to keep this under a half hour, but it's a little over. Okay, but that's much better. Tutti a tavola, man and daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. So I'm going to dry it one more time. And if I can get it dry enough, I will do the kind of looks like Mickey Mouse ears, and I'm okay with that. Maybe she's a Disney fan. Yeah, that's what she is. It's a Disney fan, so she has Mickey Mouse in her. I don't care. I just want to play today, and that's what I did. And show you guys that you can do, you know what I mean? It, it's your art journal, or it's a piece of printer paper, or mixed media paper. Just play. On those days that maybe you don't want to do a full painting, or... Um, you know, you're not feeling well, just play. That's no big deal. Okay. Then what I will do is take my brush again, my small one, and I will dry it real good. I like to roll it like that. Don't look at my nails. I'm very embarrassed. Go in just a little bit with your black acrylic paint or whatever you're using. I know that my um, parts here, and I just like to loosely, you can use a marker, whatever you want. Just kind of and you can highlight whatever you want. So if you want to do something, you don't have to do this. You can use white. I'm just going to use some black, like I said, and kind of play. And if you don't, let's say you do this and you don't like it. Why is this light all of a sudden down like that? And if you don't like it, take your brush. Because remember, it's acrylic paint. Go over it with water, just water. See, this will grunge it down a little bit and make it not as bright. But that's not what I'm, I mean, that's not what my goal is. So let's say you're like, oh no, I just don't like it. Right? And then you take your wipe or paper towel, whatever you're using. Be careful. As you can see, my paper just kind of went at me. And you want to do this fairly quick. I mean, acrylic paint doesn't, you know, dries fairly fast, but. Okay, and if you had a little bit more room or time, you could get that off easily. So no uh, worries. And I'm going to go in with a little bit. Um, I do want this, and I kind of wanted to kind of do some. I should have probably done this before, but. Okay. Kind of go like that. You can make her have a ponytail there and a ponytail here. Whatever you want. It's yours. Do it your way. But that's it. That's all she is. So, you know, playing, having fun in the art journal. 
And I will tell you, I was going to, and I don't know what I did with it. What did I do with that? What did I do with that? What did I do? What did I do? Come on, Cal, you just had it here. If my brain was not attached, it, I would be a mess. I would be such a mess because it doesn't even work correctly anyway. But I don't know. I had my stamp here that I was going to use, but I don't know what I did with it. Anyway, it said breathe and you know that's what I love so we'll do that let's use the red and I would just go in and I wanted my stamp and it's not here but this is just a red stabilo but that's you know what I mean you write whatever you want whatever you're feeling that day you can go in, maybe you want to add some cheeks. I know some of you guys like the cheeks, the little red cheeks. I don't particularly like it, but you definitely can. I mean, she's odd. Maybe she really does have red cheeks. I mean, I, a lot of people do. I don't, I don't, I don't mean I don't like it on people. I just don't usually do it on my little things here. So she went out in the sun a little bit. And if you don't like it, you just go in, it's wet, just dab it. And just a little bit of that will stay. You know, you'll have a little bit of pink. You can go over it with your skin color and it, she will be good as new. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you did some art journaling along with me. Just wanted to play and that's what I did. Uh, you know, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. Share with me. All my information is down below to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram. I love Instagram. Uh, and follow me and appreciate it. And yeah, leave a comment because you never know when I'm doing a giveaway. And uh, I like to pick somebody and somebody's getting picked today from a prior video. So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment and leave me a comment anyway, because I love hearing from you guys. Remember progress, not perfection. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I love you guys so very much. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.